Two. Three. We know y'all have been binging Avatar The Last Airbender ever since it came out on Netflix. And like Aang, we're sad that the Fire Nation wiped out the airbenders and their culture. But some things will always live on in memory. And on our taste buds. Today, we are making the iconic fruit pies from Aang's childhood. But this time, we're gonna gobble them up. Instead of throwing them in each other's faces. <laughs> so let's get cooking. The airbenders are all gone, but Monkey Yatso's teachings live on through Aang, obviously, because we get to see these fruit pies very early on in Avatar The Last Airbender. They're one of the Air Nomads' most popular desserts, and according to Melchiazzo, the secret is the gooey filling, and of course, their very distinct colors. We made this recipe for our cookbook. It's one of our favorites. They look amazing, and they taste even better. So let's get right into it. In a medium bowl, add the graham cracker crumbs and melted butter, and then mix them together until it's well combined. In a rectangular cake pan, add the graham cracker mixture and spread it evenly around the bottom of the pan. Pack it down to create the crust. When it is tightly packed to your satisfaction, put it into the freezer for 10 minutes to set. Once the crust has hardened, use a cookie cutter or mason jar lid to cut out six circle crusts. Now these circles should be the same size as the openings in the silicon muffin pan you're using. Set these aside for now. In the bowl of a stand mixer, beat the cream cheese and sugar until combined. Then on low speed, add the heavy cream, eggs, and vanilla. Pour the cheesecake mixture into the muffin pan. Filling the well is about two thirds of the way up. Drop a dollop of jam into the middles of each. We're using four different fruit flavors, but you can use any flavor combination you prefer. Cover the jam with more cheesecake mixture, filling it almost to the top and leaving just enough room to cover it with the graham cracker crust circle that you made before. Set the silicone muffin pan in a large baking dish and fill it halfway with water, creating a bain marie. Bake for 20 to 25 minutes until the center is set. Then let it cool and then place it in the freezer to chill. Make the whipped cream by adding heavy cream and sugar into a mixer and whipping until it reaches soft peaks. Then divide the whipped cream into four different bowls and color each bowl individually to match the flavors of the pies. Looks great, and you can understand why Gyatso love these so much. Once the fruit pies have frozen, carefully remove them from the silicone muffin pan and pipe or spoon a dollop of colored whipped cream onto each one. And there you have it, voila, fruit pies from Avatar The Last Airbender. One of our favorite recipes in the cookbook and just one of our favorite shows of all time. If you haven't seen Avatar, you are completely missing out because they have just so much fun on the show and it has so many amazing life lessons inside, not to mention some great moments that involve food that we, of course, here love at Feast of Fiction. So make these for your friends, surprise them, just don't throw it in their faces, and eat up. Who's that patron? It's Night Mage 14! Night Mage 14! Yay! Yeah. These are so cute, and they're bite-sized, and they're filled with gooey goodness on the inside. Ho oh. ho mm. ho! Oh man, man, oh mighty! Mmm, the crumble at the bottom. Mm. Mm. A delicious fruit pie. Ooh! Ooh! Look at that oozing with lemon fruity curd, goodness. baby. That's awesome. Mmm. I love cheesecake, not gonna mm -hmm. lie. Probably my favorite kind of cake outside of carrot cake. It's probably gonna give you a bad stomach ache. <laughs> you know what? We all know I'm a, I'm no stranger to punishment on this show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now I'm always down for a good cheesecake. This is wow. so delicious. And you know what? Oftentimes when you eat cheesecake, you're like, that one slice was way too much. These are cute. They're bite sized. They're not a massive cheesecake factory size slice of cheesecake. Mm -mm. And I am super down for it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And the tanginess, so good. Just like as all the little fruit pops of flavor mm -hmm. with all the little jams that you're inserting into your fruit pies are yeah. just so good. And the fruit pies on the show are like this big, but honestly, why make a giant fruit pie like that when you can make these cute little versions that you can eat with your friends and share with your family? Yep. And it's awesome. Yep. It's and awesome. you don't have to feel guilty at all eating it all. Um, it's you, so you little. might. You might still, but that's why? okay. Oh, because it's still cheesecake, you know. Well, but it's at least, <laughs> it's like, 
a pint-sized version as opposed to a gallon-sized version. Yeah, yes, that's right, that's right. So you know what? Amazing, amazing recipe, and the reason it's even more amazing, well, it's featured in the Feast of Fiction kitchen that's cookbook, right. everybody. Ooh. Look at this. By the way, I just flipped to this. I'm amazing. Look at this. You are amazing. Look at this picture. These are so cute, and the ones we made look just like this. I love this really recipe. Good. It's so awesome, and there are 55 total recipes from your favorite books, TV shows, animes, video games, and more. Yep. Man, what an amazing gift. You can get this for your friends, for your family. It looks beautiful on a coffee table, on yeah. a dining room table, on a kitchen counter. Yeah, the possibilities are endless. And this can be all yours by going to your local book retailer, Barnes & Noble, online, Amazon.com, Wherever you want. Target.com, any place that sells books, Type it in in the search engine and bada bing, bada boom, this guy can be all yours. Yep, feastoffiction.com if you want a bunch of handy links. Find out the one that's most convenient to you or just call up your local bookstore and ask them about the Feast of Fiction kitchen and you are not gonna wanna miss out. Look at these full size, beautiful photographs across every single page. I don't know why this accent just came on, but here it is. Wow. <laughs> anyway, this is nine years in the making. Ashley and I are so, so very proud of this book and we can't wait. Everyone, by the way, that's been sending in your versions of our recipes online, on Twitter and Instagram, thank you so much. It we love makes it. our hearts soar. Yep, and like we love seeing them, so keep sending them. Yes. And if you guys make these fruit pies, be sure to tag us. Let us know, let us see it. Nothing brings us more joy than seeing your interpretation of these recipes. So yeah. that's why we're really excited for you guys to get your hands on this book. Mm -hmm. And as always, please leave a comment below if you want to see us make something next on the show. We'll yep. get right to it. And we'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. Bye.